Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we're gonna answer a question today from Adriano um, Bernovic in Croatia. Uh, Adriano says, if he, um, he says, if I can explain the backward rack tom uh, or the backward fills that I'm playing starting from the floor tom, going to the rack tom, going to the snare. And if I can explain the sticking that I'm using. So uh, there are a few different stickings that I'm using, um, Adriano. I think uh, the, uh, the one that I'll start with here is just single strokes, really just single strokes going in this counterclockwise motion. There's a few different ways to end it, but let me give you a, a kind of a musical example. It doesn't really matter where you start, actually, because you can you can uh, you can kind of work it out uh, wherever you start in the beat. Thing that I will say is that I don't do any crossover, so I don't go like four notes. I do three or five so that I can go to the left uh, with with the left hand to the small tom. Sometimes I can come out on one, I can come out on the and of one. Uh, what about and uh, and a four? One, two, three. <laughs> what you want to first do is pick a starting place and pick an ending place. So let's start um, on beat one and come out on the and of four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> start on beat two and then come out on the end of one. one. All right, you see what I mean? So um, now there are definitely other ways to, uh, to play counterclockwise around the drums. What if you wanted to just play two notes on each drum? Um, how would you go about doing that? Well, you want to figure out the sticking first. What sticking really is going to, is, can you do that with uh, counterclockwise? And, and this is the, the best one that I've come up with. So, Or a grouping of three notes. So you have singles. Um, those can be played in triplets. They can be played in sixteenth uh, notes, eighth notes. Um, there's other ways, other other types of stickings you can use as well going counterclockwise. For example, what about um, uh, Swiss Army triplets?
Sam is gonna go change drums first. Okay. If you if you change drums on the beat or with the right hand, it'll it'll be like this. Right, and you'll have to you'll have to um, to cross over your your arms and. I don't like to do that at all. So um, I, I'll, I'll try to plan, uh, you know, w in mind, you know, in mind with the sticking that I'm going to do. I'll try to keep that in mind so that I'm not crossing my uh, my sticks over, um, just because I think that's a you know a really impractical way to play. Uh, although uh, it's still done sometimes, and that's fine too. But um, do it if you want to do it, but not because you know you get mixed up and you. Uh, you have to do it. You have to cross over. So I would, I would say, you know, try those those sticking single strokes and also the um, Swiss Army triplets. Um, try them two beats each and one beat each. Here's, this is an example of two beats each. One. One beat each. One. And then, you know, think about different different places to start the phrase and end the phrase. So enjoy that, and I'll see you all real soon.